Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get, uh, how to fine tune Coloured Web to get the results that you need. So uh, first off, let's start off with uh, bright and dark themes. So uh, the way that Coloured Web works is, uh, at the moment, you say, uh, give me um, a particular colour, and then it'll work out all the shades of that colour. Later on, I'll very likely uh, put in other options so you can do things with multiple colours and all sorts of stuff like that. But for right now, it's all based on one colour. So it's all shades there. So now, uh, I find the... Uh, the dark theme is the most useful for me, but you can switch between them, between bright and dark, by going CW bright, and you can do the same thing for dark. And if you don't specify it, um, it will default to whatever you last used. Um, now, this is a hex color. If you're used to working with HTML and CSS, um, you'll be pretty familiar with those. Um, so here I could go uh, make a yellow, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice and easy to do, but if you don't know those codes, we can get them quite easily. So let's go CSS color picker, and um, this first one here is one I tried just a few minutes ago, and that seemed to work pretty well. So you can see here that uh, we're getting all of these different uh, we can choose all these different colors here. So let's choose, let's choose a beautiful green. So 0CC99, if we go and put that on here. Bork. And you can see there, now we have this, uh, this greeny color. Like so. All right. So, uh, different browsers. Okay, so let's just flick it back to that so I can see it. Uh, different browsers. So if I do this, you should see. There we go. So we've got two browsers being listed here. We've got um, Chrome and Opera. Um, that's just simply because both of those are very easy to get the user CSS um, in place and set up. Uh, I'll very likely sort out Firefox sometime soon, and um, there's numerous others as well. But essentially, all you need to do is get this output file, and you just need to go and place it um, wherever the browser takes it. So yeah, right now, uh, Chrome and Opera are both uh, catered for. At the moment, it's not particularly durable. If it's unable to write to those files, it will complain. Not, not fatally complain, but it will complain. Uh, and it's a little bit messy. This is very alpha software. Uh, I, I do recommend uh, Chrome for debugging stuff and Opera is what I use personally for most of the time because once I got it set up working right I didn't really need to change it. It's just the changing when Chrome is really useful. Uh, oh and actually I'll just add one more note in there. So Firefox I don't have in here at the moment but I actually find this a really good testing ground to make sure that uh, if I'm worried that my CSS is breaking a website in some way, I'll load up something like that to go and have a look at it. I don't have uh, Reconc supported yet, but once again that's something that um, I intend to put in place fairly soon. I think that's quite enough for this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.